Hi, welcome to Amazon Developer Video Tutorials. I'm Moses, and today we'll be talking about how to submit an update to a live app via the developer portal. There are two kinds of app updates you can do. The first is a metadata update, and the second is a full app update. To start with, we'll go over metadata updates, which you can use to update the general information, the availability and pricing, the description, and the images and multimedia. So to get started, you want to go to the developer portal, apps and services, and my apps. You then want to click on the app you wish to update. And this goes for both metadata updates and full updates. So if you're doing a metadata update, you can update the general information tab, the availability and pricing tab, the description tab, and the images and multimedia tab. These all have the edit option available at the bottom of the tab. So if you want to update the price of your app or the locations where it's available or the description of your app, including the display title, the product features and keywords, or any of the icons or screenshots associated with your app, you can do that with just a metadata update. The good news about a metadata update is it should go through the review process faster than a full app update. But you'll notice that if you visit the Content Rating tab or the APK Files tab, the Edit option is not available, and that's because a full app update is required to update these tabs. So now let's talk about the full app update, which is required to update either the Content Rating or the APK Files tab, which is called the App Files tab if you have a web app. To do a full app update, you'll need to click Add Upcoming Version on the sidebar on the left. When doing a full app update, you can update any of the metadata tabs that we previously discussed. Keep in mind, you'll also need to add release notes to the Description tab, and these describe the changes in your new upcoming version. You'll now be able to update the Content Rating tab. and you'll also be able to update the APK Files tab, also known as the App Files tab, if you're doing a web app. To update the APK file, click Replace APK to add a new updated APK file to your app. Don't click the Add New APK button unless your app has multiple APKs. If not, and most apps won't, you'll just want to click Replace APK. Keep in mind that your new APK will need to have the same package name as your previous APK and it will need to have a higher version code than your previous APK. Once you've made all necessary changes, you can click the Submit App button and your update should go into review shortly. For more information, please see our article on updating a published app and if you have any further questions, please use the Contact Us form. Thanks for watching.